Hey everybody, so just wanted to let you know that I upgraded benches. So here is my my normal bench I usually do my work on and I just added this one here today with all my goodies. Got the air compressor, plasma cutter, my welder that I just made, you know, all that good stuff. And today I got some uh, stuff for the cannon came in. So here's our two inch butterfly valve and all the fittings to add that and here's the pneumatic cylinder that we're going to use to fire this bad boy off yeah and here's the solenoid that's going to power or the control that and yeah whatever so what I'm going to try to do today is well since I don't have a TIG welder or and I don't know how to how to um, torch weld I'm going to I'm just gonna go to a friend's house and have him either weld it for me or or let me use his welder. So yeah. So okay. So what I want to do today is this butterfly valve is is has some dumb safety feature thing on it where you can't turn the handle or open it or close it without pulling this. And then yeah, I mean it has some dumb locking thing where you can lock it every now and then so I want to pull it off completely because we need a way to fix this pneumatic piston on there but we can't have it have this stupid thing on there so I'm going to try to figure out how to pull this off so I'm going to pull this completely thing pull this completely apart like a little clamshell and just pull it all apart, see if I can completely eliminate this. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to do. There we go. No more dumb safety thing. It is kind of hard to get completely shut down. Yeah, there we go. Yes, so I can show you a little bit of how it's going to work. So basically, alright, I'll get the handle off again. Basically, this here, here, well, let me back up a little bit. <clears throat> so, what's going to happen here is this is going to be our compressed air tank. Stay. AKA the fire extinguisher that we sanded down and cut a hole and stuff. So this here 
is going to go right like that and we're going to weld it. So, and then this goes here and there's a little o-ring there that's going to keep this all nice and sealed. Goes like that. Again with these little dudes. Yes, so we'll have this welded on there and then we'll just it'll be like that. Or or I might put a little spacer of the barrel pipe in there, maybe, if I need it. Uh right there, something like that. And then yeah. This would be, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to have the, the other end just the same way. Except this end the barrel will be welded like this will be welded to the barrel like that nice and airtight I'm not sure how long of a barrel I want but it's probably going to be a little bit of a shorter barrel that way the whole thing doesn't weigh two tons so this will go like that this will go right there And then we'll tighten it down nice and tight. So yeah, it'll be like that. And then the barrel. So that'll be the main components of the gun. But then we get down to the technical part. And that's where this comes in. Can you still see that? Yes, you can. So Let's say, let's say the handle is on this thing. Let's pretend it's connected right there. So, this is a, a pneumatic or air powered piston, whatever you want to call it. And this would be like, like that ish. Somewhere around there, and it'll have this handle will be connected to the piston. So when I press a button, this thing will go shoot front. Therefore, just like this, press the button, this piston will shoot open like that and go. Hold on. Yeah. Press the button, single shoot forward, poof, open that up really fast. And since this is a butterfly valve, it opens up like completely really fast within whoop, a split second. So then whatever I have shoved in the barrel, it'll go poof out. But but this thing has to know when to shoot. So that's where this comes in. The uh, um, the solenoid. <laughs> that's where this comes in. The solenoid. So this is a uh, 12 volt solenoid, I believe. Yes, 12 volt DC. So I'll hook up uh, like a battery or something. So when I press a button or flip a switch, it will yeah power it here. Press the button, or flip the switch, or whatever I decide to make it. There'll be hose connecting this to uh, either this to directly to here to the tank, or or another separate secondary tank specifically for this. So yeah, it'll go. Air goes in, and then when I press the button, it'll open up a little valve in here. Air comes out of here into here, pushing this front, therefore opening this valve. 
also shooting whatever projectile we have inside. Same thing with closing. Uh, yes, I, then you press. Yeah, then it should automatically close because this is, when you blow air here, it pushes here and it sucks here. Then did you either automatically close or or I'll have to reset it or I can hook up another say this is uh say this is open. If I blow push air into there, it'll automatically close. Right? Yeah. If I blow air into there, this will close. So I don't have it completely figured out yet, so whatever I decide to do, it'll either close by itself or I'll have to automate or I'll have to manually close it, which isn't all that hard. So yeah. I don't get it. Yes, so I could use a tank like this. This is just an oxygen tank I had from a torch, it's empty. So I could rig this up to have air coming out of here, it to here out of the solenoid into the piston opening the valve something like that I'm thinking uh, also I have we need a way to fit, fill this up with compressed air so I have some some uh, Schrader valves so I'll attach this in the back of the probably the front here that way it's probably attached to here or here or something like that probably here do that, that way we have a place to fill it. Same thing with this, if I do decide to use this, I'll uh, I'm not sure what these are rated for, pressure wise. Anyway, if I do decide to do this, I'll put this in there. That way you can fill this up separately. So yeah, that's that. Yeah, for a trigger, I'm thinking of either using an old tool like, say I use, well, I don't know. I have a, I So, to fire it off, I have this here a little M12, Milwaukee M12 drill which I hardly ever use. But it is 12 volts, which is required for this. And it's already in the shape of a, kind of like a pistol handle. So say we're holding it like this, say I rig this up. I don't know if I'm using this or not. I might just find one off of one line that's broken or something. But I could somehow rig this up to hold it like that. And when I press this trigger, boop, it'll send a signal to this firing the gun. Yeah, that is one option. The other option is, well there's many other options, but I could just use like a, any type of switch, like literally any a light switch I could use. I don't know yet. I like this idea because it's like a gun handle thing. But I also like this thing, so I might just go online, see if I can find a find a uh, use one of these that's like broken or something, and uh, yeah, see if we can rig that out. So I will have to use our oops, these are quarter inch, yeah, quarter inch inlets here. So I'm gonna have to get some quarter inch. Uh, Probably quarter inch copper. I actually might have some quarter inch copper on hand. Uh, that way it's ready for high pressure. Well, 100, 100 PSI, 120 PSI. So, yeah. That's that. And then we'll give it a sweet paint job, maybe, probably, because this will rust if I don't. This pipe here is stainless steel, I think. Pretty sure it's stainless steel, so that won't rust. But I can still sand it down and give it a coat of paint. 
but this is stainless steel and this might not like paint so we will see with that what else can I do um, I'm excited for this, this thing's sweet. Um, yeah. And none of this stuff was all that expensive. The most expensive part was this, this valve here. Just the valve. That valve was, I think, uh, I got it on Amazon, so it was between 38 and 30 and 50 dollars. I think it was 30. I think I got a cheap one. Somewhere around there. Um, yeah, but this was only like 10 bucks. This was only a couple bucks. These things were only a couple. Everything was decently cheap. This fire extinguisher I got board long free. You can get free ones. This is just leftover from one of my other things, so I already had that. Um, yeah, these Schrader valves were cheap. These are super nice too. So maybe maybe I can install one of these today. Maybe I'll do that. Smoothie, smoothie. Get the tree rail. Oh yeah, it is nice and snug. Let's get the washer. And that. Beautiful. Looks like it was meant to be. Okay. Alright, so there we go. Got our shader valve on there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Comes this fancy fancy cap. Gorgeous. Yeah, now I need to find somebody who will let me use their welder. This probably like this. This would be like that. Yeah. Gorgeous. And if you didn't see the last video, I went out and made this knife here out of a lawnmower blade. So go check that out. If you uh, are interested in homemade knives out of free stuff. Yes, doesn't look beautiful, but for my first knife I made out of a lawnmower blade, <laughs> that's it's good. Yes, 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 nice and sharp, hardened to steel, so it's nice and hard. Yeah, 